Good is good, yeah. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the new bull of this set, bull two in NBA 2K24, my team, and whether the new dark matter Bill Russell is worth you guys grinding for or not. Now, to do this, guys, we're gonna be talking about how to get all of the pink diamonds and galaxy opals. As well as the remaining three challenges, like getting 20 double-doubles, like getting 60 rebounds with Celtics players over multiplayer games, all of those separate things. Now, to do this again, going to start at the Peak Diamonds and work our way down. Remember, you got to get all eight of these things done for the new Dark Matter Billy Russell, who I think is going to be one of the better players and a better big man in the entire game. Now, let's start with the first thing here. Challenge number one. Make four dunks in a game with the Suns player five different times. Super easy to do. You know what? Like this challenge by itself, you could get done in 20 minutes. You go into triple threat offline, again, five different times. You need a Suns player, but uh, here's here's the deal. You don't have to have the best player. You could do it with Boris Dia, Danny Manning, Diamond Amari Stoudemire, and the Aiden. Like you could do it with literally anybody and get that done. Super easy challenge to do. 150 assists with Hogs players. You could kind of combine these things and start working. 150 assists is a lot, but you can do that throughout everything. Get assists with a gold Hogs player. Dunks with Suns players. You'll be well on your way. Make 50 layups with Mavs players over multiple games. So what I would do is after I get the four dunks done and triple threat offline, then use the rest towards Mavs players. Again, getting assists with Hogs players. Combining all three of those to get the pink diamonds. Then... Uh, you need 10 games using three Amethyst or higher Rockets players, excluding challenges. So, again, three Amethyst or higher Rockets players, it really comes down to how good you are at the game and how many Rockets players you have. Like, I have Hakeem Olajuwon, so as, as long as I have two other decent Rockets players, this is going to be easy. James Harden and then probably Tracy McGrady is going to be my last one. Uh, you could use, you know, Amen Thompson. If you have Shane Good, could use him. But this is probably what I'm going to do. Go in there with the three Rockets players, maybe triple threat online. Uh, or maybe uh, you can do it in triple threat offline too. That's the nice thing uh, about it. It is three Amethyst or higher players. If you wanted to do it in triple threat offline, you could. And then score 21 points in a game with a Nets player 15 times. Again, triple threat offline. You can do all of these things in Triple Threat Offline. None of these things you are required to go into online games. So honestly, all of these challenges are super easy. 10 games, I mean, can do that in 35 minutes. This you could do in probably, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. Not going to be super hard to do. All of these things so far, looking at a couple of hours. Then you got to get 60 rebounds with Celtics players over multiplayer games. So this is the one thing about it. Um... And that is somewhat tough as you have to go into uh, into multiplayer and get rebounds. Now, whether you want to go into Clutch Time Online, Triple Threat Online, it doesn't really matter. Celtics players. So what I would do is go in with a lineup of all Celtics players. Whether you want to use Robert Parrish, whether you want to use, you know, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Drew Holiday, any of those guys you could probably use. I would use Robert Parrish if you have him, though, because he should be able to get a lot of rebounds. 20, 20, or 20 double doubles over multiple games. What I would try to do, and this is just maybe me, is uh, maybe when you're grinding these Rockets player challenges, maybe you do it in triple threat offline, and then maybe you get, you know, 10 rebounds and uh, 10 assists with the player, or, you know, 10 points and then 10 rebounds with the player. Whatever you want to do, but try to get that done as well. The 20 double doubles is going to take a while, but you can do it in offline games. Really shouldn't take too long. Win 11 games using 10 Celtics players. You can do that in any challenge game. So the, the toughest probably challenges are this double-double challenge and this 60 rebounds challenge. But honestly, I think within a few hours, you can get Dark Matter Bill Russell. Now, maybe I'm wrong. You guys can let me know if I'm, if I'm not seeing the full picture here. But I genuinely think within a couple of hours, you can have this entire challenge done. Now, again... The 11 games is just going to be annoying. You're going to have to go into 11 free throw challenge games. The 20 double doubles is going to be super annoying as well. But what I would do is, again, uh, this is just me, maybe run a lineup like this. Uh, it, it, what I would try to do is sit, figure out who needs rebounds. Like, who needs rebounds that, in offline games? That's the first thing I'd, I'd maybe try to figure out. Uh, and, and, and then, you know, go from there. So, like, I don't even see any really rebounds. But maybe you, you go in there with DeAndre and work on the dunks as well as the double-doubles. Go in there with a couple of gold guards. 
and then DeAndre Ayton. So for example, for the double doubles, this is just kind of where I'm at with things. I'm looking at points and then maybe rebounds. So what I would do, I got to find where DeAndre Ayton is even at. But run a squad like this, go into triple threat offline, and I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of how I'd approach it. Because the reason I don't want to run a you know pink diamond or above is because I want DeAndre Ayton to be easily able to get these 10 rebounds. And, and I'll show you how to get an easy double double within just a few minutes here. Now, the big thing for me though is honestly, let them shoot whatever they want. They're golds. They're going to miss more shots than they make. And then on the offensive end of the court, just chuck free boards. Like he's got Ty Lu on DeAndre Ayton. It should be free board after free board. You get a board, you go back up. It should be really easy to get these double doubles. Now you do need a lot of double doubles. I'm not trying to sit here and sugarcoat things and say it's gonna, you know, be super quick. But within, you know, an hour, you should be able to have all your double doubles done. And again, whether you want to make that, you know, better or worse than it is, it all just, you know, depends on kind of how you approach things. But I don't think that's super bad. Like I've already got four and four with DeAndre. And, and again, if I can end up getting the dunks with him at the end of the game after I've got my double double stuff like that, that is going to just be icing on the cake. And for dunks, I mean, honestly, all you got to do is just send him on a back cut. Send him on a back cut. Should be able to blow by a guy like Ty Lu and then get the big dunk as well. So within this, guys, I'm getting the four dunks with DeAndre Ayton. Starting working on my double doubles, which is probably one of the longer grinds here. And uh, and just trying to get a lot done. Like the, it, Again, it's not like it's anything too crazy I'm doing. But I am, you know getting starting really just starting the grind it is really what we are are doing here but you guys can see gonna easily get my double double done in this game as well as really as starting on the dunk so how do i approach this guys i grind the least favorite of your challenges first so if you don't if you're not in love with let's say the free throw challenge or you know winning the games with celtics players that's what i would knock out first like if, if that's your least favorite grind that's what i would knock out first because the last thing you want to do is get the easy stuff done and then not finish it because you're just dreading doing the last challenge or, or you know, whatever that challenge is for you. So that's just kind of my approach to it. Obviously, again, I'm just showing you guys how to easily get the double doubles because I feel like all the other challenges should be super easy. There's not any of the other challenges that I'm personally super worried about uh, when it comes down to this. So I feel like once you get these double doubles done, it is going to be super easy. The one thing for me is obviously, you know, within it, uh, you have, you're going to try to get some dunks. Like I'm trying to get these four dunks as well. So that's just maybe the only somewhat hard part about this. But as you grind, guys, you're going to get triple threat offline done for Gilbert Arenas. So if you don't have Gilbert Arenas, now is the perfect time to uh, to start working on that grind as well as you're just going to get rewarded with MT other stuff along the way. So definitely just another side of this thing that I'm personally a fan of is you do get rewarded MT wise other stuff by playing the game. As you're playing, try to use prize bowls, other stuff, uh, just to help your account as out as much as possible. Now, again, for me personally, I'm a big fan of Bill Russell. I also do like Kenyon Martin. Steve Francis to me is okay as well. So I, I'm personally a big fan of the content today. And you guys might not be, but I like the bold set. I think Bill Russell's gonna play on my main account. I think he's gonna play on my no money spend account. And what more can I ask of? Bill Russell got a couple of solid opals as well. For me, I mean, I, I can't honestly ask for too much more. So one game, about four and a half minutes, we're going to have the, the rebounds with Aiton. Also, and then after you get the double-double, sure, just knock down a three, Damon Stoudemire if you want to. But after this, again, my main goal really is just to win the game. Get in and out of these games as quickly as possible. But sometimes, again, it is going to take longer than ideal. Ultimately, I think you guys, as well as me, are going to be able to get Bill Russell within three to four hours, which, is again, is that a long grind? Somewhat, but it's not like, it's not ins insufferable. Like it's not something that is just too much of a grind or too much of a hassle. It is something that we should be able to get done in a decent amount of time. So that's where I'm at as far as this grind with Damon Stoudemire as well as John Barry. I might as well just go finish it with these dunks with DeAndre Ayton. Cause at this stage, it's gonna take me longer trying to get a three with these guys than just mashing with DeAndre Ayton. So that's where I'm at. Let me know your thoughts on the grind down below in the comments. Is it a grind you guys are going to do for Bill Russell or not? Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're doing it as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.